Hi, I'm Dave from Special Fork. The weather's getting warmer and it is definitely grill time. Now I love a good hamburger or hot dog and so today I'm going to show you how to make a quick pickle with Vidalia onions. It's very simple and it's going to add a lot of flavor to your hamburger and hot dog. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Vidalia onions, I'm going to add it to my pot and we're going to cover this just with water. Okay, now I'm going to bring this to a boil and then when it hits a boil I'm going to back it down uh, to a simmer and then it's going to simmer uncovered for about five minutes. Now if you're unfamiliar with Vidalia onions, it's a sweeter onion that's available between spring and summer. Okay, the onions are ready, so now what we're going to do is to take them off the heat and we're going to strain them. That out. And I'm going to put them into a bowl and we're going to just set this aside. And we're going to just make sure that we've got all the onions out of here because what we're going to do is we're going to use this pot again for the liquid ingredients. So now I'm going to add in the rest. I've got some seasoned rice vinegar, I've got some water. some brown sugar, salt, pepper, and some toasted coriander seeds. And we're going to do the same thing here again. What I'm going to do is bring this to a boil, back it off to a simmer, and let it simmer for about five minutes. And here we're just going to stir it up just to make sure that that brown sugar is all dissolved. That's perfect. Just like that. So now the way to get toasted coriander seeds is uh, what I did was I took coriander seeds, put them in a skillet uh, over about medium high heat and then you're just going to cook that until it's fragrant and every once in a while you want to shake it up just to make sure the coriander doesn't burn. Okay so the liquid's ready. Let's turn this off and now all I'm going to do is add it to my Vidalia onions. Now this is going to just uh, sit uncovered until it hits room temperature, at which point we'll put it in the refrigerator and it'll keep for two weeks. For more recipes and ideas on your smartphone, go to specialfork.com.